Welcome. In this video, we are going to do a basic walkthrough of the chart in the Meditech Expanse system. You will notice that I am accessing the EMR from a web browser. The EMR can be accessed with any device, including mobile devices such as an iPad or an iPhone. The EMR is set up such that this navigation bar that you see here will always be available no matter where you are in the patient's chart. Here, you can quickly jump into different sections of the EMR, such as the document section, the order section, and the discharge section of the patient's chart. When you first go into the chart, you are defaulted into the summary tab. The information in the chart is all organized into various tabs that you can see here. In the top right hand column, I can see the patient's name, account number, location, and their height and weight. I can also see here what the resuscitation status is. By clicking on this, I can go in and change the resuscitation status. The summary page that you see here is composed of widgets. The widgets allow you to customize what you would like to see when you first open the chart on this summary screen. This summary screen allows you to pull in a wealth of information on the patient by selecting the many widgets that are available to you. Currently, I have widgets on my summary screen that shows me the current visits that the patient has had, it shows me triage information on this patient. I can see common labs that have been done on this patient, as well as the most recent documents that have been placed on the patient. Rather than searching through the chart, I'm able to bring to this summary screen all the information that is important to me when I go into this patient's chart. The tabs above allow you to go into different sections of the patient's chart. For example, if I click on the Diagnostics tab, I can go here and review diagnostics that have been done on this patient. If I click on the Nurse and Allied Health tab, here I can go and look at nursing documentation or allied health documentation that has been done on this patient. On the far right-hand side, there's this column called the Reference Pane. This column stays static in this location no matter what part of the chart you're in. It's always here so that it displays the information that is important to you when you're in other sections such as documentation or placing orders so as that you can quickly look over to this panel to see the important information. This tool is also composed of widgets, of which you can select and customize to your liking. You will notice that when I go into the order section of the chart, this reference pane remains here. This becomes very handy when you're documenting on the patient and wanting to look at such information as their allergies, their home medications, and their past medical history. The chart has a search functionality as well. The search functionality will search the patient's chart for discrete data that you are wanting to find. For example, if I'm looking to see if this patient has had an ultrasound before, I can type in ultrasound and it will list where in the chart the discrete data feed of ultrasound has been found. Here, I can click on this and it'll directly bring me to that ultrasound report. I hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough.